A little over halfway through her first season here in Happy Valley, Carolyn Keeger continues to establish a new culture within the women's basketball program. And coach, when we first met back when you were hired, feels like quite some time ago, your big message was establishing that new culture, but what has been the most challenging part of finding that identity? I think the most challenging part has been consistency. You know, we're trying to teach our players to win every day in everything that they do. That's as a person, as a student, as a player. And obviously that's not gonna happen overnight. So you need to have patience. Um, and if you're doing it the right way and you're building it from the ground up, it is going to take time. But I think the players are learning, they're growing every day. And I think that's what we can ask for at this point of the year. You know, wins and losses come, but as long as we're doing it and we're establishing it from the ground up and making sure we're teaching lessons every day, every film session, that's all gonna pay off in the long run. When it comes to the record, obviously people in today's society, they want that immediate gratification. The record doesn't reflect everything that's going on with inside your program year one though. So what are some of those positives that you take away? Well, I think, I mean, you, you nailed it. It's developing that culture. You know, it's, we have an acronym for our culture called pride. So one, it's passion, it's bringing the juice. What does that look like? You know, every weight room session, every practice, and just enhancing and just showing them that when there is a little bit of it, we can bring more, you know, and we can uh, hold each other accountable when it comes to respect. You know, are we being great teammates? Are we holding each other accountable for the little things? You know, are we respecting the process? Um, in terms of investment, are we doing whatever it takes? And that is that diving for loose balls? Is it taking charges? Is it having an extra study session? Is it, um, you know, going and getting extra weight, uh, work in the weight room or maybe recovery. So it's teaching them that all those things go into whatever it takes. And then discipline is executing the plan. And for us, that's you know following a scouting report. That's um, learning the plays and knowing exactly what we want out of the offense. It might be making sure we get our study hall hours in. Uh, so for us, you know, when we talk about discipline, that's where we're trying to get to. And then lastly, the last core value we have is excellence, and that's giving our best. And we're definitely not there yet. You know, we're not to the point where we feel that we're giving max effort in everything we do. So we as a staff are there to remind them, and we're there to push them and show them that they have more in the tank. They have more to give. And at the end of the day, we want them to be able to look in the mirror and be proud of themselves and become better women. When you say you aren't there yet, there's definitely still work to be done. But what will it take to get a full buy-in from everybody within your program now moving forward? I think we need to see little wins. You know, I believe you're not going to win on game night just because you want to. Yeah. You're going to have to earn it. So that's winning in practice. Uh, that's that's winning in the classroom. You know, we had a 3.1 GPA um, goal for this you know, fall semester and we got a 3.18. So there's an example of us winning and getting better. Um, you know, that's stringing two great practices together. You know, after our Northwestern game, we sat down and we went over pride again. We went over exactly what I'm looking for as a head coach and what my staff is looking for with our culture. And we've had the best two practices that we've had all year. So those to me are little wins and it's showing them that, hey, we are proud of you and we are making strides. It might not be as fast as we all want to, but in the long run, this will pay dividends this year even and then absolutely next year and the following years as we go. So next year, obviously, recruiting is the lifeblood with any program around the country across the sporting surface. But when it comes to recruiting, what has been going well there? And obviously, you guys have some uh, big impact players coming in in the future. Yeah, I thought my staff did a phenomenal job with our first recruiting class, and I think we nailed it. Um, we nailed it as people. We nailed it as students and absolutely uh, basketball players. And uh, for me, what, what I'm looking for as, as a leader is three things. I want competitive players, I want self-motivated players, and I want great teammates. And all four of these um, young women that we signed are absolutely that. And then you add Kelly to the mix, who is now here on campus with us as a grad transfer. And I felt like we definitely hit a home run with our first class. And I think these are five people that will come in and make an immediate impact right away. When it comes to goals and moving forward to the future, we've talked about it a couple times now, you've referenced it in your answer, but what are the goals within this program moving forward? Yeah, I mean, we have um, high standards, obviously. You know, we want to be a premier program of women's basketball here at Penn State. Um, and obviously we want to win a national championship. Now I'm not going to snap my fingers and that's not going to happen tomorrow, so we do it in stages and we set little goals along the way. So obviously our first goal is to make postseason. Second goal is to make NCAA. Then you work your way up in Sweet 16 and you keep going until you're competing for Big Ten championships and that's regular season and conference championships. But it's not going to happen by, by me looking at you and telling you that we want to become champions. It's going to become hard work and we're going to have to roll up our sleeves and every single person in my program from top to bottom is going to have to work. And it's not going to be easy and it absolutely will take time, but if we do it the right way and if we all invest and we all buy in, I absolutely 100% believe it's going to happen. I think one of the most interesting things with you and your staff has been the way 
way that you've embodied this campus and other athletic programs around this campus. And people don't necessarily see that all the time, but I've seen your staff over the last football complex associating yourselves with the football team. But is there certain things that you've been able to learn from some of these other programs? Well, that's first and foremost a big reason why I chose to come to Penn State. You know, I want to surround myself with people who strive for greatness uh, on a daily basis. And I believe we have uh, a athletic department here that all has the same vision and we all want to be elite so you know any tidbits I can get from coach Franklin or you know coach Rose or whatever it may be you know Erica has been phenomenal over with women's soccer just you know talking culture and, and being helpful and just stealing little tidbits from them uh, is, is obviously what it's all about and I mean I could name I could sit here and talk for hours about what I've learned so far but I just really appreciate the willingness and the openness that um, every head coach here at Penn State has and not only them but the staffs and it's really a welcoming family atmosphere. I think one of the biggest things I've noticed within the crowd so far for you guys this season is just how knowledgeable people are. I don't know what it's like around the country or from other places you've been necessarily but how much of a difference maker does that make for those fans that are in the crowd? Well, I, I believe we have uh, an amazing fan base, and I think once we start to see success on the court, that's going to grow even more. Um, we have a rich tradition here with women's basketball, so when you have a fan base who understands the game and understands the women's basketball history, it, it means so much more to have them on your side and railing behind and knowing when to cheer, when to get loud, when the team needs them. I think that's really important, and I think that this, the fan base is really embracing us and embracing this style and this work ethic. And we might not have necessarily the wins that we all wanted so far, but I think they see the progress and I think they're excited for the future, which obviously gives our team a lot of confidence as we move forward. Well, obviously there's gotta be a fun part to this too. And I know behind us, people can kind of see it, but you guys won the holiday video <laughs> trophy within the athletic department. How much fun was that to That's put our together? first trophy. <laughs> yeah, get used to it. Hopefully that'll be filled. But no, I mean, I, I believe I have the best staff in the country, um, obviously, and we love to have fun along the way. And we heard there was a competition um, in terms of holiday in the athletic department. So when we hear competition, we absolutely rise up and uh, wanted to have a little fun with it. Competitive on and off the field. Coach, you appreciate your time. Best luck moving forward. Thanks.